Hi traders, welcome to the recording of my live session today. I'm going to get in-depth one of my trades today, but before that, take a look at Adobe. Adobe is down 12%. It tried to move higher, it failed. I'm going to short, shorting here, 2,500 shares now. I'm expecting it to come down because it's supposed to be a gap and go. What usually happened, I just reached my target over 10 grand, took my partial and left 400 shares for the fast forward in Adobe. Now I'm moving to RBLX, which again is not my main topic today. I'm going to talk about another trade soon, but take a look at the intraday, it's uptrending. It's looking great. Now it's a time to take a look at the daily. Now what's the daily is doing? Beautiful daily. Everything comes in together, a nice bull flag formation in RBLX, and I'm going to go long RBLX based on the intraday and the daily together. Nice reversal, just moved over the whole number, $46, and I'm buying right over here, uh, 4,000 shares. Now, RBLX is uptrending, clearly uptrending, and the S&P is doing the same. Now, if you see, if you take a look at the S&P, we started with a gap down today and then we moved up, closed the gap. Now we are continuing to move higher. It's a nice reversal, just like RBLX, but I do not trust the S&P 500. I don't trust it because the daily looks terrible. It also started with a gap down today and recently the S&P crashed. I mean, just two days ago, the S&P crashed down. So I'm in RBLX expecting it to move higher with the S&P 500. Initially, it did move higher because again, it looks great. Intraday is up 2%, but now it's coming down. It's looking bad because the S&P just failed. I'm down $1,500 and I'm gonna move out. Just a 30 cent stop loss. So you see, I took a trade expecting the S&P to move higher, but look what happened to the S&P. We just had this huge red candle and RBLX came down with the S&P 500. Although it looked great daily and intraday, it just couldn't hold on when the S&P came down. Now the problem is the S&P. I did not trust the S&P to continue higher. I mean, I, I watched it, it was moving higher, so I took a trade which was relatively low risk, 30 cent trade. Now I'm looking at Marna, which is the trade I want to talk about today. Now Marna is down one and a half percent. It's trending lower. At this point, right now, when the S&P just failed to move higher, I'm looking for shorts naturally because I trust that more. S&P recently came down, now it's moving lower. I trust it, but I do not want to chase Marna. I want to wait for a pullback. Now what you're seeing me doing here is relatively rare. Marna is now moving up from the lows. I loved it once it reached the lows, but I couldn't take it because now it's approximately one point from the lows and I feel like this could be a technical point where I could short it. I will not chase a stock down. I was looking for a good trade. Marna is relatively weak. It's weaker than the market. It's down one and a half percent. The market just came down. It's around zero. It's turning red, but Marna is weaker than the market. So I'm shorting here 2000 shares again, being careful because um, I was up like nine grand after the first trade. Then I moved down. I made another mistake with Adobe added on the short side at the, mar at the time when the market was still moving higher. So I had a small loser and then RBLX and then uh, I'm up like six grand now. So again, I'm looking at the S&P 500. You can see the daily of the S&P 500 and you can see that the S&P is trending lower, very clearly trending lower. We're at the point of a breakdown now. Last week, uh, we moved up. It was a very strong week. Now we're coming down. We are at the breakdown point. This could be a very strong bear flag formation right from here. So I trust the downtrend more than I trust the uptrend. That's why I took mana. I took mana because I believe the S&P, after failing to move higher, you know, my RBLX trade, now started moving lower, this direction I can trust. So I took a 2000 share stop uh, sh uh, trade in Marna because my stop loss is around one point. So I was figuring out, okay, I'm up like six grand. I don't want to finish this day less than four grand. So I'm risking around $2,000. That was mm, the idea of the 2000 shares. Now I'm moving down, it's moving down. I'm, I'm in, in the, making um, like $1,800 right now, taking my profit, leaving just 200 shares for the continued move of MRNA. Now this could have been trusted, could have been trusted because of the S&P. Now you can see that once the S&P started moving down, I trusted it, it continued to move down. Now it's clearly trending lower, it's deep in red territory now. NASDAQ also down and uh, um, again, very red and Marna could have been trusted. So again, I did not wait for Marna. Uh, I did not chase Marna when it was at the lows. I was waiting for it to move a little bit higher and shorted it on the way up, which is extremely rare. 
Now, um, I do have a winner in Marna. I'm still riding 200 shares. I have a loser in RBLX. I have a winner in um, Adobe and I'm up almost eight grand, actually touching the eight grand mark with my open trade in Marna right now. So what I do want you to realize from what happened today is that when you trust market direction, you can take a trade. Like I did not trust the market direction with RBLX. I, I, I looked at the market, it was uptrending. I couldn't resist it. I should go with the market direction. So I took a trade which had the 30 cent stop loss RBLX and I ended up losing money, but it was not a high risk trade. And then I was up around six grand and my next planned trade, which I did trust was mana, but I, I again, I, I wanted to know that I'm gonna finish this day over four grand. So I took 2000 shares expecting that in case I have a loser, in case the market changes direction once more, then I'm, I'm gonna finish up over four grand. Now I'm lucky to finish at around eight grand, but the main idea was I could have trusted the S&P. Once the S&P changed direction based on the daily, that is the direction. This is the direction I could have trusted. That's why I took my mana trade. And once getting into the mana trade, again, remember, don't chase a stock when it's down, wait for a pullback and then short it. Uh, sometimes you may miss a good trade, I know, but don't chase it as it comes down. Wait for a pullback, short it uh, or long it, depending on the direction, of course. And I hope this was uh, uh, a good educational video for you. And if you did like it, please give me a like because it helps my channel and helps more people like you enjoy day trading videos. There's also the subscribe button right over here. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads and plenty of links right here below. One of them is the same platform I'm using, the Colmex Pro platform, which I believe is one of the world's best. And uh, please, please, please start with a demo account. Never trade your a live account when you're just starting out. Trading is extremely hard and most traders do lose money. So please start extremely careful a demo trading uh, with, a, with trading demos. And then when you feel you're comfortable enough, move to a live account. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.